this is the next video where we are understanding open fiend spring cloud open fiend and in this quick video i am going to explain you about the placeholders that we have and timeout how we can configure that and how we can use to make, make use of the placeholders right so let's go ahead and see that so just to review the things spring cloud open fiend would be what is it we have seen in our fiend clients and fiend client that we have seen and fiend client configurations these are here in placeholder also are also supported this way we can do the we can put the placeholder in our application and this is the timeout part so if you remember the rest template builder class we added the timeout after which we want to get the exception and after the time uh, till then i want to wait for the response from the third service how we can do that in open field. so these are the configuration that we can put and it will work, do rest of the things right so theme line config default connect timeout and read timeout remember so both the details i have to give it right so to work it properly if you give only read timeout it is not working okay so connect timeout also you have to give it so let's jump to the demo part this is the theme client demo that we have okay so this is the user service that we are playing around with okay so if you remember this theme class theme client configuration this line earlier we used to have directly name uh, whatever name you want to give it and this url of the third party that you have you directly kept it here right so what was the problem with this so if you want to externalize this configuration maybe where third party url changes sometime in future which is uh, not the which is very rare case in actual scenario but in case it is so you can change it uh, without doing any changes in the code by changing that property only by externalizing that property so what i have done fiend client name i have given it put it in a property name like this and service base url this property name and i have put the base url inside this property so let's go to the properties file and see what the value it is so i am using not the properties but yaml file which is which is good and more readable than properties you should uh, do it also you can put the same thing in property also that's not an issue okay so just forget about this the just listen uh, just here just take a look into this service base and url service dot base dot url i have given this service dot name i have given this that's it it will do rest of the things right so if i run this application and see it will work properly as earlier and one more thing i want to add about the timeout so that we want to explain so i told you how we can give this so this is the configuration that you can give directly in properties file but in yaml you, this is the format that you have to give right so here you have to write two times fiend client config default and all and connect timeout and read timeout belongs to the same hierarchy fiend client config default so in yaml you can give it in very nice way default read timeout and connect timeout so you clearly know that this read timeout and connect timeout is part of this fiend client config so this is the beauty of the yaml file okay so the read timeout i have configured it 1500 and connect timeout 500 so that it worked properly for first time because in a spring data demo while hitting the users i have put the sleep time of 1000 okay so uh, just to fail it i have to give the time less than this uh, to wait 1000 millisecond and directly i can give it so if i put the timeout as 1000 so this time it will fail read timeout means it is going to read and getting the response connect timeout is just to making the connection from the service it is not going to impact this 1000 okay i can give it 500 not an issue it is for the connection only and it is reading and getting back to the calling party okay so this moment it will fail for the connect timeout so this user service this will be determined at runtime service base url and all this and it will try to call this service and whatever endpoint we are going to hit it here okay and it will do the rest of the thing so let's go ahead and start the application and see okay application is started so if i go to postman part and i'm hitting this user list okay so this user list i'm getting get method user list so send it what should be the response as usual internal server error i got it right 
if you see this 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 read timeout while executing this okay i got this error and this user list okay so it is giving you the exact uh, all the urls that it is going to hit so it is hitting the data demo users that it has right so you can directly hit that and get all the users from the calling service directly that is the SOE. here i am calling the actual service that they have but here from this uh, our field client demo i am calling the same service but i am expecting the timeout expecting the response within 1000 millisecond but the third party is responding after 1000 millisecond so as expected we got the timeout exception and this service base url and name also work properly and hit this url that we are giving in place and this base url so if i increase the timeout just to show you the it's working properly if i keep the properties correct that we want okay i'm restarting the application okay started so uh, hit it again user list 8080 fin client and now it will return the response for me properly yeah i got it right this is it this is about this is it about the uh, timeout and placeholder that i wanted to explain that was very quick but very important and uh, very useful in real time applications right so what next next we are going to look into the circuit breaker part hystrix how we can configure that so circuit breaker i have not explained it yet so next i am going to explain you about the circuit breaker and how we can do that and what configuration i need to do in open field to honor those those circuit breaker and what is all that that is this is very important topic in the world of microservices circuit breaker okay so i'll see you in this uh, i'll see you in the next video with all the details about circuit breaker okay so Till then you play around with the open scene and all these and if you see any issue put that in comment section and be happy to help you out okay so take care bye bye